Hey guys, so welcome back to Yakuza Kwame 2. Let's carry on where we left off. We were on our way back to Sereno before we got interrupted by Granny White. And now here I am pursuing a sub-story. Because uh, I kind of want to squeeze this in before we focus on the main plot of this particular episode. I'd really like to get back to Sotenbori. Mind you, I know we can do so on our own by just catching a taxi. But it feels more right if we do it for a story-related purpose. Plus, we haven't really advanced much. Only in the last episode did we nah. actually learn a bit more about the foreign threat. What's up, my boy? Mm. Excuse me. Didn't mean to holler at you, man. Name is Michael Nauya. Most banging hip-hop artist on the raw streets of Camarocho. Think I could bother a brother to listen to my new mix? Shit's gonna be lit. But I wanna make sure it's got soul, too. You ready for the sickest flow to hit your ear holes, bro? <laughs> Uh, I guess. Does this mean I'm gonna become Breaker Curio? Rags to riches. Sure, I'll give it a listen. Hip hop? I feel like I've heard Haruka mention that genre once or twice. <laughs> they didn't exactly have it in prison. I missed out entirely on the first half of the noughties. I guess it wouldn't hurt to know what's popular nowadays. Uh. Sure, I'll give it a listen. I'm a man of the world. I like to be cultured. <laughs> Word up, brother. Time to start the flow. Check it. The name's DJ Michael, and I'm here to say I'm dropping fat beats. The text is going fast, I can't even read. I'll beat you up my parents, hardcore. Already in my 30s, miss me with that ball. Town don't hit till you got a little age. Mama says I'm useless, but soon I'll take the stage. Got a negative balance, soaking in the bank. The party's at my pad, a straight up dank. This guy's praying for these guys to not come through. My mama says she don't know me anymore. My pops says he's gonna kick me out the door. Ain't got a girl, ain't got no cash. But if you be tripping, I'll get medieval on your ass. Life at home rules, cause I don't gotta pay. My mama rocks dinner, something, something. I don't want a job, just wanna drop beats. The girl is swing by, I give them all treats. Never leaving home, never leaving home, never leaving home, never leaving home. Whew. Well, what do you think? I kinda rushed through it. I missed out on half the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize all the text was gonna go through, but damn, that wasn't such a bad flow. At least once I got into the rhythm of it, all that karaoke practice coming in handy. Give it to me straight, bro. I can take it. Uh, <laughs> well, there's no way to put this to you nicely. Um, I'm just gonna say you're probably marketing to the wrong audience. This is more of a niche kind of kind of tune. It doesn't have much much mainstream appeal. That's just a nice way of saying it was pretty awful. Damn it, Kiryu. I chose this option because I thought it was going to let him off the lightest. Huh? Yeah, I know. I've known for a while my rap game wasn't up to snuff, but I didn't want to accept it. No talk. I've been thinking of dropping off the music scene altogether. Guess I should really go through with it, huh? Maybe I'll go work on my family's grape farm or something. I'd be better off picking grapes than spitting rhymes. Damn man, don't be guilt tripping me, okay? I already tripped over your your flow. <laughs> Here, I don't need this anymore. You can have it, man. Michael Nauya's self-produced CD. Uh. You only made one. Th thanks. You you realize I did say your music was trash. You've effectively given me rubbish. To what? Put in the bin. Well, later. Okay. Mm. What can I possibly do with the CD? Maybe the guys over at Stardust can use it. Really? Didn't we just say it had no mainstream appeal, Kiryu? Are, are we trying to sink Stardust? They're already down a manager. Now we're gonna get them to play shitty music. To think I could've just progressed with the main story, met up with the boys and Saima at Serena instead of ruining that poor kid's aspirations. You, sir. Are you the sub-story? Even though sub -story is over, uh, Stardust is over there, sorry. Excuse me, you there. May I have a word? I am a humble writer. Hoping to compose my magnum opus set in the savage streets of Camarocho. But I lack inspiration. <gasps> you seem to be a man of the world. That is what I just said, isn't it? <laughs> I'm Mr. Worldwide. Would you have anything of note? Something that bears the anguished cries of our nation's youth. That's oddly specific. I do have that horrible rap CD. It's possible those cries would be a little more or too anguished for this guy, though. Uh. Well, I did just get the CD from a kid who seemed pretty unhappy. Can't say I'd recommend it, though. A CD, you say? That would be perfect. I have yet to upgrade to those MP3 players. Oh, God. You can tell this is bloody, what, 2007? 2006? You know what? Forget it. It's really not worth the trouble. No, please. I must know what the youth of this era think of the rampant corruption in our city. If you insist, be my guest. It's your funeral. But don't blame me for the pain in your ears later, okay? 
Ah, this blank disc's modest exterior surely conceals the incredible might held within. Now for the true test. I shall hear it. Are you okay? Uh, what is this? None. Hey, are you okay? This reminds me of like Mars attacks when the alien heads explode when they listen to music. <laughs> ha! 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 This is quite a marvelous shock indeed. Every fiber of my being is letting out a scream of excruciating pain. I feel as though my skin will slough off my body. Well, this is Kabarocha. I guess some people here are, you know, masochists. <gasps> I had no idea a song could eat away at my soul in such a manner. Is this the hollowness the youth of today feel? Why, do you want to rub our nose in it? I'm putting myself in the youth category. That's, uh, not the response I was expecting. <laughs> I shall channel these emotions directly into my masterpiece. Please, if you give me the CD, I will give you this pen in exchange. Okay. A slick fountain pen. You really liked it? I would have, uh, I myself would have liked yen over a pen, but sure. <laughs> not at all. And yet, it is perfect. Farewell. All right. Hope he's not going to take credit for it. People are into the strangest things. Hmm. Maybe the clerk over at Ibusu, Ibisu, sorry, will know how much this fountain pen is worth. Oh goodness, it's going to be expensive, and I'm going to take all the money that's owed to Mr. Naya. All right, uh, oh, team of detectives, I'm back. I just yeah, realized. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So They're reaching across the country. <sighs> we still have no sign of Daigo. Nani。どうやら俺が容疑者になっちまったらしい。You。どういうことだ。but they haven't found a body. Oh wait, they did find a body. <laughs> Never mind. Caught in the act, chapter eight, suspect. Quite a uh, simple chapter titles here. Wow, that's damning footage. I didn't even see a muzzle flash. <laughs> what? Are you okay? I think you need to change your glasses there, sir. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, look at this history. It was in the helicopter the entire time. Jingonha?何を言ってるんだ。Jingonha?何を言ってるんだ。Jingonha?何を言ってるんだ。Jingonha?何を言ってるんだ。Jingonha?何を言ってるんだ。Jingonha?何を言ってるんだ。Jingon
Well, these two are in shit. Video ni utsutte iru no wa honno ichibu janai. Sonna koto wa kanbu no renchu ni wa wakaranai. Da to shite mo video ni utsutte ita dake de dou shite yogi sha ni naru no yo. Ima kono machi de okita jiken wa subete video de kenshou suru koto ni natte. Not like Phoenix rides around to refute the <laughs> the evidence. Ano toko shazat shita no wa watashi yo. Not convenient for the case. It's too complicated. It just adds another layer, you know. Funny. I just said that. Like, it's such a weird camera angle. Time to go to Sotenbori, guys. Let's do it. Family vacation. What do you do? Makes sense. We need to dig up what we can on the Jingwon Mafia right away. For Date san's sake, too. Yeah. Our best bet right now is the florist. He's apparently up in the Millennium Tower now. Yeah. Let's head over. This guy. Underground before, now he's in the tower. <laughs> you love to see it. Go to the Millennium Tower. New sub story? It's Yuya. Hang on, let me take on these goons first. I'll be right back, sir. You're lucky I didn't give you that rap CD. Alright, he was cheering me on the entire time. You love to see it. Yes, Yuya. Hey, Yuya. How's it going? Hi. Not bad, not bad. With Kazuki-san gone for the time being, I really gotta step up my game. Hey. Why don't you drop in for a drink? You deserve to kick back and take a load off every now and then. Uh, you know what? I could use a drink. The bar across the road didn't have any. Uh. Great. Let's head inside. Looks like you're keeping yourself busy here, Yuya. Hi. You bet. Kazuki-san went and left the place in my hands, so I'm feeling more motivated than ever to prove myself. <laughs> Glad to hear it. For real. I did some dumb things in the past, but it's all because of Kazuki-san that I'm the manager here. I've got to do something to make it up to him, you know? Come on, man. He's not the only one you're in the biz for, right? <laughs> what about that rocking girlfriend you got? Oh, yes, I remember her. <clears throat> Shut it, Shun. Miyu-san, right? Man, I'd be motivated too. Coming home to a girl like her. Jeez, is that a way to talk about someone's girlfriend? Especially, what, your boss if you're a host? Oh. She does get me going, if you know what I mean. Well, are we in a locker room? In more ways than one, I bet. <laughs> hey, get your mind out of the gutter, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be embarrassed, Yuya. Everyone has that special someone. Don't you start now too, curious on Yours is dead. Oops, that's too far. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> too soon. Oh my. It's always a cutscene, so I'm sorry with you, Yuya. What's going on here? Who are these guys? Whoa. Black Thunder. Black Thunder? Hmm. Take it, your guys are a gang? <笑>知らねえ。嘘つくんじゃねえよ。あんたが示した時期ヘッドだ。知らねえはずがねえ。知らねえもんは知らねえんだよ。そうか。だったら<笑> Oh, he just made manager. I'm sure he doesn't even know where it is. 
And he hasn't got that pay rise yet. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Jeez. Interesting caveat to leave the team. I like how one of them has, you know, like a, a bandana to cover his face, and the other one just has a surgical mask. <laughs> like we all wear these days. Yuyo, who were those guys? Burak Thunder. Stay out of this, Kiryu san. This problem is mine and mine alone. Anyways, I'm gonna go apologize to my customers. I'll see you around. Hmm. Embracing my true self. Yeah. Life will change, Yuya. Oh, is that you, Kiryu san? Cool. Me, you. Long time no see. I know, right? We've been out of touch since he saved me from those Yakuza last year. That I did. I really can't thank you enough for what you did for me and Yuya, though. Yeah. Ah, water under the bridge. Seriously, Kiryu-san. He saved our lives. Speaking of Yuya, is he inside? Uh, yeah. There was some trouble. He's probably a little preoccupied right now. Damn it, Kiryu, where do we have to snitch on him? To his girlfriend. What do you mean? This guy named Koji from Black Thunder showed up and started slinging accusations at Yuya. I see. So Koji found him. They kept mentioning an Okano. Have any idea who that is, Miyu? He and Yuya founded Black Thunder. That was way back. Before Kazuki-san took Yuya in off the streets. Wait, so... They both founded Black Thunder, and yet, uh... He is his replacement? <laughs> and he's bailed as well. Koji joined soon after the gang started up. The three of them were serious thugs, always getting into trouble one way or another. And now Koji's the only one left. You wouldn't happen to know where Okano is, would you? Mm. Um, no. Because if I did, he'd probably come after me and you'd have to rescue me again from another kidnapping. May you please. I don't want to see you dragged back into this mess now that he's finally making a name for himself. Okay. There's this bar, Earth Angel, over in the Champion District. I'm... I'm familiar. <laughs> the mama there can tell you what you want to know. Just ask for Akko. Will do. Thanks, Miyu. Okay. Well. Does a sub-story with cutscenes count as main story? Let's do it. And since we're here, we might as well do some Kabaki training. God, it's so easy to get distracted in this game. God damn it. Oh, you are like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, my dear pupil. You have worked quite tirelessly of late. Why don't we alter the regular order of things with a one-on-one -on -one sparring match? Hmm, that does seem like good practice, considering all these lessons you've been t teaching me are ones that you've taught me last year. Sure. All right, I'll fight you. The Kamaki school is just, you know, repeating the same semester over and over. Then again, you know... You fear not the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once, but the one who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. Wonderful! I may be on in years, but do not expect an easy victory. Well, I mean, I beat your ass in the Coliseum last year. Hold on, old man. Why do you want to fight me to begin with? Mm -hmm. I suppose I owe you an explanation, my dear people. I have surveyed your abilities for quite some time now, and you have yet to show even a trace of decline. Well, I do keep pretty active. And, oh, you know, yeah. it helps that I haven't spent ten years in jail since I spent ten years in jail. That is good to hear, my dear people. But an actor's lifestyle alone is not enough. You must truly embrace the path of the martial artist if you wish to avoid stagnation. Hmm. Well, you know, I don't happen to be a martial artist. I'm actually an ex-Yakuza. Hence, today's sparring session. Your form in the Kamaki style will only improve if you forge your resolve against a strong opponent. And you're that strong opponent. Oh, ho, ho, you're correct you are. It wouldn't be very exciting if you were simply sweating down any or my other pupils like houseflies now, would it? The strongest opponent possible stands before you now. Humble brag. And honestly, I'd just like to fight you again. Really, that's the main gist of it, I think. Huh. You never change, old man. Soon you're going to be, like, everywhere. We're going to have Kamaki everywhere. Are you sure about this, though? I won't hold back in a fight. I will beat your ass, old man. 
you will need your hips replaced. <laughs> I expect nothing less, my dear pupil. After all, you would never land a single hit on me if you didn't exert yourself to the fullest. Hey, I beat that uh, Mr. Punchby guy. It worked out just fine. I am as a leaf, fluttering about in the wind. Impossible to grasp without the utmost precision and concentration. Although, when they are getting old and close to death, they're really crunchy when you step on them, so there's that. Uh-huh. Therefore, you must try your hardest if you wish to succeed. Anything less would result in utter failure. No weapons, no items, and no heat actions. It will be a pristine showdown between our twin life energies. Who shall emerge the victor? Now, my dearest disciple. We fight. Yeah, but I got Saima with me. Can she participate? Probably not. Let's fight. No heat actions. No heat actions, but I can kick you all you're down. Whoa. Parry. Okay, he's sufficiently heated up now. He better not use any heat actions. He promised me. Oh, but he can use a tire drop. Fantastic. That's cheating, because it's not a freaking heat action. Oh, he did it again. You bitch. Only I get to use it. There we go. <laughs> Tiger dropping my ass. You're lucky I didn't shove your face into this fire. Whew. Well, you said no heat actions. You said nothing about cheese in it. <sighs> to think you would bring me to my knees so swiftly. You've improved immensely, my dear people. It's probably your joints. You're still pretty tough yourself, old man. Yeah, that tiger drop. It's a doozy when it's used against you. It's cool when I do it, not cool when you do it. How kind of you to say. I'm honored to be able to call you my people. Here, this is the reward for your newfound strength. Take it. A peerless tile. Convenience. <laughs> Less than all that I've got another one. And now that I've seen your true strength firsthand, I must be going. It seems I still too, well, I too still have much to learn. Mm. Huh? You're leaving, old man? From the Champion District, indeed. The Coliseum of Kamurosha tugs at my heart. I plan to train there for a while. Aha, we're going back there to engage with Kamaki in the future, I guess. But do not worry, my dear people. There will be a plethora of opportunities for us to see each other in the future. Take care of yourself, old man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, Sotaro Kamaki, will take care of the muscular vessel that is my body until the day I pass from this world. Farewell. You only get one body, make sure you look after it. It really never changes. I wonder when I'll see him next. I do wonder. He said he's going to the Coliseum, but he also made it sound like, you know, we'll encounter him. It's a lot of skill points, I'll take that. We impress Sayama? Beat my mentor's ass, even though he's like 85. Alright, Mama, we're back. Hopefully we don't have to bounce anyone from your fine establishment. I have a question for you, Mama. You know an Akko? You betcha, baby. She's right in front of you. In the flesh. You want a drink? Yeah. Uh, I think I'll pass for tonight. Oh, so your name is Akko. Miyu sent me this way. Mm hmm? Miyu? What did she say? She said you'd know where Okano is. What? But I... I... So you do know where he is? Yeah? No. I don't know anything. Please. Koji showed up at Yuya's club. You is in big trouble if we don't find Okano. Somewhere in the realm of five mil. Black Thunder. Mama, tell me what you know. I'm asking for a friend. Ugh. Why can't Koji just give this up? Tell me where Okano is and maybe I can put a stop to it. Right in front of you. But not anymore. Wait, what? Nanny. Wait. That's your former name? Yeah. What, never seen an ex-thug turn into an Okama mama? Huh. Wow. This is some surprising development for you. I, I wasn't expecting to further get to know you. I guess you could say I'm a bit of a late bloomer, sweetie. It took me years to figure out who I really was inside. That's, uh, that's admirable. That, you know, even though time has passed so much, you're still committed to realizing your true self. But, you know, I didn't run away because I wanted to. I just wasn't sure how to face Koji. It's been tough enough for me to accept myself. Who knows what he'd say? Your life is yours to live. You shouldn't have to justify it to anyone else. Although, in this case, you know, if your life is yours to live and you want to quit the gang, you have to pay five mil. That'll justify it. But the one thing I can't accept is you letting Yuya suffer because of this. Hi. Hi. 
I know it's wrong, but... But what? Alright, you know what? Give me a drink. Kei-san, I love you! You may not feel the same way, but I'm still glad to help you out. I'll do anything for you, Kei-san. Bring on the battles. Oh, wow, you've joined Jump Majima Construction! That's... that's great. That's excellent. I could certainly use you out in the field. Oh, I was waiting for you, hon. Well, that's different from Yakuza Kuami and Yakuza Zero. I can just drink all the whiskey. Hopefully I don't get hung over. Or start vomiting. Whew. Give me... Umayna. Give me them all. Yeah, we're tapped out at six already on those ticket drinks. Alright, well, we won't be able to walk straight for the next two minutes. Oh, Saima, you just materialized in front of me. Is that the whiskey talking? Oh, leaving already? Come back soon. Yeah, we'll do. Well, okay, it's alright. We can't drive. We'll just walk. Come on, Kiryu, answer the damn phone. That vibration's uh. killing my ears. Hello. Kiryu san, I'm so glad you picked up. I got some bad news. Those Black Thunder guys are back. Nani. What? Yuya-san's holding them off, but I don't know how long he can last. Uh-oh. They're gonna lose two managers. On the same night, no less. This is still going on. This is still the same night. Damn. We met, like... What? We killed fake Kazuki at, like, 1 a.m., didn't we? Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, Saima. Get out of my way. I'm so drunk I walked back in here. Damn the six alcohol level. Oh, thank God as soon as we drop down to five we can walk and run normally. Cause, my goodness me, <laughs> we're all over the show every time. Well, looks like we got a random email from Granny White. Think I'm lost. Howdy, Kazu-chan. I'm, uh, kinda lost. Over in some parking lot somewheres. At least I get to look at all the spicy young hotties on this here billboard while I wait. I'll be here. Kissy emoji. Oh god, spicy young hotties. She must be talking about the host club ads up on Shichifuku Street. Damn, Kiryu. I like how you knew exactly where she was when the, you were talking about spicy young hotties. Alright, we're back to Stardust. I swear this club is constantly taking over. Oh great, this time they have motorcycles on the floor. Sheesh. Are you happy? Whoa. Uh oh. Well, that went well. I'm here. You win by default. I'm your peerless tile. And this is the Mahjong table. Yeah, and I'm not talking about that rap CD. Oh god, another group of clowns that don't know who I am. Just have to introduce myself to Burak Thunder. I like how the leader is already down before his subordinates. Kenbo. God. Shit, Yuya. You did well. Yuya! Here we are. Yuya! So he so he knew. Yuya got us in Kureta. Black Santa, so I hit the top. Just as quickly as we usually take our jackets off, yeah. you put it on. Oh, round two? Okay. Good job, you. You're putting that trench coat on, you reset the fight. And now he's got even more health. It's like a new game plus I uh, item that makes things more difficult for you. Okay, we did it. But this time I did more of the work, I think. So the trench coat actually nerfed you. This is the end of the line for Black Thunder. Yuya. Kano. Uh, 
Mama-san, you showed up in the nick of time. You're like some kind of guardian angel. Guardian angel? I think you mean fairy godmother. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kiryu-san. I've got to thank you too, Kiryu-san. You really saved my skin. Don't worry about it. I, I'm getting used to it by now. I'm always happy to help a friend in need. Speaking of friends, who you? Yeah? You have some good ones. Take care of them, okay? Hi. I will! Well, I should be going. I need to go meet with the florist. I promised a story-heavy episode, and yet here I am, dicking around in Stardust for the 50th time. <laughs> Bye! Hmm? Hmm? What's up? Well, you love watching me leave, do you? The two of you? Wait a second, you're not... Oh, yes I am. I'm head over heels for him. <gasps> what? <laughs> She's just clapping. <laughs> Racing my true self. I wonder what it says. We'll never know. Hero of the story! I'll take that. Okay, come on, let's go meet the florist. At long loss. Damn, this guy's as still as a statue. Even though we're beating people up. <laughs> Just standing there. If I don't move, they won't see me. And then I won't get beaten up. I need to know who you are. Excuse me, sir, mind if, you, if I have a minute of your time? Cool. Hmm? What do you want? I'm a representative from the Kamarocho Forestry Association, the KFA. We're looking for caring people to sign our petition. Forestry? Oh. That's right, sir. As everyone knows, trees and the oxygen they produce are a vital component to human existence. Beyond that, sir, don't you find greenery just oh so smoothing? Who wouldn't relax when they breathe in some nice piney fragrance? Think about it, sir. If everyone's happy and relaxed, maybe the crime rate of this city will finally start going down. What do you say? Every last signature counts. I shouldn't have talked with you. I should have just let you stay being a creepy statue. All we'll need is your name, address, and phone number. I also need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Nothing too wild. Simple, yeah? Well, where do I sign? Alright. Where do I sign? Oh. Right on the dotted line, sir. I don't see no dotted line. Need anything else? No, sir, that's quite enough. Thanks to you, Kamarocho's going to become a wooded wonderland. Wait, what? We're planting a forest in Kamarocho? I can't wait. <laughs> I can just imagine him saying it with all the bravado in his face. Okay, sign the petition. That's done. Come on, let's get to the florist. Hmm? An email. Another one. Final notice. Subject, final notice. Payment overdue. As of today, your debt repayment is overdue. If you do not repay the designated amount within the next 24 hours, we'll be forced to take some more serious measures. I owe 580,000 yen. My account and branch number are conveniently blacked out. Uh oh. What the? <coughs> Who is it? Hello? Hello, Kurisan. When are you going to pay back that loan you took? With interest, comes out at to a hefty 580k. It, I, what? If you don't pay soon, I'm gonna have to send some guys after you. Six letter word. Starts with Y, ends with Akuza. Cool. What loan? I think you have the wrong guy. I don't even know what Y and Akuza spell. Listen here, you little shit. We're gonna get your money one back. Oh, we're gonna get our money back one way or another. I don't appreciate your tone, and I haven't taken out any money. Yeah, whatever. Hope you're ready to f for our Yakuza friends to come knocking on your door. And what are they gonna do to me? Put me back on the chair? Make me the fifth chairman? Oh, oh sixth chairman, sorry. I forgot that uh, Tarada existed. <laughs> he died so early in the game. It's like, oh, okay. You'll find out soon enough. Just know it ain't gonna be pretty. That is, unless you decide to pay us what you owe. It's not too late. Wonderful. Another scab. What the hell was that? <laughs> Another phone call? Who is it now? Hey, Kiryu-san! It's Yuya! I need to talk to you about something. Cool. What's wrong? Sounds like one of our hosts, Kenya, got scammed by some fake loan sharks. Huh. Well, that's convenient. What? You heard me. 
They told him they'd get rough if he didn't pay, so he coughed up the 580 grand they were asking for. Oh, he even got the same amount. You have any of both these guys, Kiri-san? With the correct connections you got, I bet you know all sorts of shady customers. Wait, did you say they wanted 580 grand? Exactly. Yep, exactly. Can you say that it all started after he gave us, or he gave his deeds to a thug collecting names for some Caparocho forestry bullshit? Uh, of course, it was related to that because I only got the call like five seconds after I completed that first leg of it. The guy didn't even have a permit or nothing. I can't imagine putting your name down for something that shady. I mean, how are they going to get the forest going in an urban sprawl like this? Best case scenario, they could plant a few flowers and call it a day. Idiotic, right? <laughs> Only a moron can pull for something that ridiculous. Nothing against Kenya, of course. I mean, did I even know that they were going to make Kamurocha a wooded wonderland before I committed to it? Or was that only after? <laughs> Carries on. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. Upset stomach. I I just, <laughs> I can't believe Kenya would fall for that. I mean, he was the last person I thought would fall for this scam. So clearly this is an elaborate one. And I don't blame anyone else who gets caught in it. Ain't that the truth? I gotta say though, he might be an idiot, but Kenya is one of my best guys. Huh, oddly relevant. It's a damn shame seeing something like this happen to him. Don't worry, Yuya. I'll take care of it. Tell Kenya I'll get him his money back. You mean it? Thanks a ton, man. Let me know if you need any help out there. Uh, we'll do. In the meantime, it's finally time to talk to the florist. My first step should be to gather info. Maybe Marita knows something about this. Howdy. Uh, Is this place open for business yet? No one's allowed beyond this point. It'll be fine. I'm on your side. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> My apologies, ma'am. Thank you. Step aside. We're here to see the florist. And it's not because we're on a date. Hello there, you're looking suspicious. Ano. Kiriza! Amelia, thanks for the assist before. I was lost in a brown pit of despair, but you dragged me toward the light, my shining underwear angel. Oh, Baba! Of course! I heard you're fighting against some horrible land sharks. If you want me, I'm here to help. I promise I won't shit on your plants. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to know I can count on you when the shit hits the fan, though. Welcome to Majiba Construction. Alright, he's moved digs. He's now on the 50th floor of the Millennium Tower. Whoa. Look at this guy. <laughs> when you get your first bonus at work. <laughs> this is what happens. Hmm. Beautiful just how, who leases the Millennium Tower out to these kind of people? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Has to prove he knows everything about you. Show off his credentials. Oh, look around, Garu. What do you think? <laughs> he knows everything. Yeah, well, it's just my job. Spy on everyone. ああ。大体差し場つく。同時まだいごの件だろ。そうだ。俺は大悟を誘拐した奴らに言われ、天野ビルへと向かった。そう。Well, I still say that that video was not damning evidence. Like it was a trash camera angle. Of course, there could be someone else. There. Well, I don't know. 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 I
あんな情報量の少ない映像を証拠として提供しなかったってことだ。そ、right. う、so、言い訳になっちまうが、oh. あれは俺がいない間に警視庁に流れちまったのよ。つまり、どういうことだ Someone's working against him. He's got a mole. どうやら、yeah. ネズミが入り込んだようなんだ。スパイってことまだはっきりはわからんが、例のここのビルの爆破も。通常なら事前に察知できたはずなんだが、True. 肝心の情報は全く俺のところに入ってこなかった。あなたの目を盗んで、モニタリングをしている人物が内部にいるのね。ここは24時間体制でカムロ町の様子を監視していた。Yeah. 当然、俺がいない時間帯が、その隙を突いて誰かが小細工したとしか考えられん。<笑>誰がネズミか、見当はついてるのか。いや。ここで働いている連中は全員がサイの河原にいた古い付き合いのものばかりだそう簡単に裏切るとは思えんのだがボス例の男を発見したすかメインモニターに回せ<笑> Just because he's the first person we saw There he is I recognize that big white puffer jacket anywhere 大悟なのかそうだあんたがここに来ると思って先に手を回していたのよ場所を特定しろ太平通りですビルは This is another trap, is it? Uh -oh. どうしたんだ停電です原因は What? どうやら変電室に異常が起きたようです Computers are still working, though. システムで対応しますこのビルの電気は全て変電室から供給されているんだ。This building security needs some work. ボス、変電室に侵入者がいます。今、モニターに移します。Uh -oh. 何者だ<笑> ?They got into the building! 何人いるんだ ?This isn't some remote hack job! この部屋はどこにあるんだこのビルの地下10階だが、退治してくれるのか ?I'll do my thing! なんとしても第五の居場所を知りたいからな。I am the most effective mouse trap, the dragon. Damn, it's hot and steamy in here. Let's fight our way through, Osama. Mysterious intruders. Who are you guys working for? The Omi or the Koreans? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they're with the Omi simply because they have Japanese names. Good. Plus, you know, the Omi would be the ones not wanting me to find Daigo. Okay. Intruders defeated. Crisis averted. Ooh, one left. Hiding in the shadows. I wasn't even counting. <laughs> that would have been good. Oh my god, it's you! <laughs> of all people! <laughs> I recognize it because I was destroying the climax battles in Kuami. Good old Snake Eyes himself! Some guy. Oh, he was with the Omi, wasn't he? Why did you do this? I'm going to go to Ryuji. 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 But he is with the Omi. So I'm going to go to Ryuji. I'm going to go to Ryuji. But I'm going to go to Ryuji. I'm going to go to Ryuji. We really are at war. Tactically attacking Kamurocho. It's not like that. 
なめたこと言わないであなたのしていることは住居不法侵入器物破損もしここで抵抗したら公務執行妨害罪は重いわよ、yeah. I'm here to arrest you 脅しでっかそないなもん命捨てたわしじゃ通用せえんわなんだともう大御連合の林しゅう男は死んだ、oh, He's been reborn What do you christened yourself as? わしは兄さんそのためやったら刑務所だろうがどこでも行っとるないけ Oh I see. You're taking a page out of Nishikiyama's book. So he's Ryuji's lapdog now. <laughs> Gray health bar. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh. Oh, Sayama, what are you doing? God. I thought we were going to stop him because he's a resistant arrest. Eat my shoe. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Damn it. Ow. Oh. Saiba! God damn it! Oh, oh god. Alright, well, I'm surprised his hands aren't burning right now. Okay, alright. Yeah, you know what happens when people show off like that, right? They just get punched in the face. That's not practical in a fight. Ah, oh, it's so good when I can block all that and not have to stumble. Ugh. Yeah, kick his ass, Kiryu! Ugh. We almost got him! Feel the heat! Ah, oh, I love it. The fight draws to a close! Whoopsies! Damn it! Stop blocking me! This is my moment. <laughs> Saiba, you're not gonna arrest me after this, right? This is an excessive force. Oh god, I think I snapped his head. <sighs> Alright, thanks for the backup. No shit. Oh, now you're on this side of the fence, huh? ゴーダリュウジは取り込んでいったとはねああそれだけ敵も本気ってわけださあこれで電気は戻ったわよし上に戻ろう OK we're just gonna leave him down here good to know What if he just wakes up and it pulls the lever back down? Interesting though, was he meant to... Was he meant to enact his operation before we saw Daigo on the cameras? Because he was a bit late on that front, wasn't he? Oh, this is the guy! He's the one, the rat. <laughs> Damn, this imposter keeps sabotaging. Call an emergency meeting. <laughs> the balls on that man. Ah, uh, yes, classic hacker battle. <laughs> Who types the fastest? Oh. Simon's fingers are faster. <laughs> Whoa. That's rad. I like how no one ever needs to use a mouse. No, I'm not like you. <笑>あ。つまりインターネット関連の犯罪を取り締まる 
内勤の捜査員ってことだ<笑>佐山は国家西上がりの準キャリア専門職として採用されたその道のエキスパートなのさじゃああいつはなぜ四課に配属後すぐに本人の強い希望があったらしい最初から彼女の目標は四課に行くことだったんだろう、yeah, I think been on her mind. まあ俺が知ってるのは佐山の来歴だけだ人の心の奥までは覗けねえからな<笑> Uh oh, that smirk's gone. But not good enough. Yes, he can. Hey, I say that in Mahjong. <laughs> that exact phrase. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe she'll come work for the florist after Yakuza 2 is said and done. <laughs> Wow, that's a very good camera angle. That's a very good camera angle. Yep. So long as. Wait, that's the place where Majima crashed his truck, right? So long as he doesn't do that again. <laughs> we do make a pretty good team, don't we?